Using a fraction wall is a really good way to introduce children to the concept of equivalent fractions. Fraction walls are widely available on the internet, but it's quite good fun if you can get your child to make their own, where they have to measure it quite precisely, that's even better. I'll just show you a few examples to start with. We move the wand to one half of the block. You can see at the top that you have one half, but you can see beneath that are the fractions that are equivalent to that. You'll notice that with a half, the numerator, the number at the top of the fraction, is half of the number at the bottom, the denominator. So one is half of two, with two quarters, two is half of four, and you'll see that that carries on all the way down. So you could have 500 over 1000, and that's still worth a half. Looking at another common one that children are expected to know, one quarter. This time, the numerator goes into the denominator four times. If you said to not just children, but a lot of adults, I have a bar of chocolate, would you like one quarter or would you like three twelfths? We're inclined to look at three twelfths and say, gosh, that's going to be much bigger than one quarter. But it's interesting to see that it's exactly the same. And this is one of the most confusing things about fractions, is that they can look so different, and they can also look much bigger than they really are. Another one to look at, one third. So far we're looking at unit fractions, and these are ones that have a one as the numerator, the number at the top. One goes into three, three times. Two goes into six, three times, and so on. And this is also useful for when children are learning to simplify fractions. If you're given four twelfths, working out that four goes into twelve three times helps you to simplify it to one third. Looking at some that aren't unit fractions, three quarters is another one that children are expected to know quite early on. There's more in the fraction section about how to recognise if a fraction is three quarters. So recognising that six is three quarters of eight or that nine is three quarters of twelve. Tenths are something that children start learning from year three. And it's interesting to see that however many tenths you have, you will have half as many fifths because fifths are twice as big as tenths. As your child progresses, through year five and year six, they can also use their fraction wall to start putting decimals and percentages and finding which fractions they're equivalent to.